The IRS is facing new trouble this morning. Congressional investigators say an IRS contractor inappropriately won bids worth up to half a billion dollars. They say he did it with the help of a friend inside the agency. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. That contractor has been called to testify before the House Oversight Committee this morning. They say he fudged timesheets, faked the headquarters of his company, and exaggerated a decades-old injury, all to get preferential treatment when bidding for contracts. Braulio Castillo took over a small technology firm last year and named it Strong Castle. Within months, the company's annual revenues skyrocketed from about $250,000 a year to as much as half a billion, thanks in part to a well-placed friend who happened to be an IRS deputy director involved in procurement. I find every part of this contract in how they, the cozy relationship caused this to be handled, to be put together, and then to be issued to be reprehensible. Republican Daryl Issa chairs the House Oversight Committee, which investigated Castillo's company and found that the IRS official named Greg Roseman oversaw each and every contract awarded to Strong Castle by the IRS in 2012 and helped the company gain acquisition information faster and earlier than its competitors. But that wasn't Castillo's only advantage. A few months before founding his company, he filed for a disability rating with the Veterans Administration, citing a foot injury he suffered 27 years ago when he was a football player at a military prep school. The injury did not prevent him from going on to become quarterback at the University of San Diego, but it did enable him to register Strong Castle as a service-disabled, veteran-owned small business, eligible for preferential treatment in bidding competitions. This is the kind of abuse that I think the American people want us to stop and stop now. Castillo denied our request for an interview, but in a statement he said, we have never received any improper preferential treatment and have competed fairly for every contract that we have received. This investigation, of course, comes at a time when the IRS is already under fire for targeting conservative groups and for overspending at government conferences. Nora and Charlie. Nancy Cordes, thank you.